If you are bored of having that same breakfast every day, then this recipe will surely bring a change and make you happy. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. And today is a breakfast recipe from South of India, popularly known as Upma. And this is how I make it. Pan on medium heat, add a cup of suji that is semolina. Keep stirring continuously on medium to low heat. For making upma, you need to buy coarse suji. The semolina flour sold at regular grocery stores won't be good for making this recipe. It is too fine. For this recipe, you need the coarse variety. You will get it at any Indian grocery store or online. Just remember to buy the coarse type of semolina. Keep stirring till you start getting a nutty toasted aroma. And please do this on medium to low heat or else the grains will turn dark brown in color. After a few minutes, you will start getting a toasted nutty aroma. Switch off the heat and transfer the suji to a bowl. Pot back on medium heat. Add 2 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil turns hot, add about half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of black mustard seeds. The seeds need to splatter. Only then their flavor is released in the oil. Break off a dried red chili into two and add it to the oil. This adds a smoky flavor to the oil. Add about 8 to 9 curry leaves which is totally optional. The original recipe has curry leaves so I used it. But please do not worry if you cannot get hold of them. Next goes a little less than a cup of chopped onions. Fry the onions for a few minutes till they become shiny and glossy. But you do not need to fry them till they are golden brown. Now isn't that great to hear? For me it is. Next I will be using some thawed out frozen vegetables along with a teaspoon of salt. More of aromatics, half a teaspoon of finely chopped ginger and a chopped green chilli which is totally optional. Stir for a few minutes. The next ingredient is totally optional. That is about half a teaspoon of curry powder. This is my inclusion to the recipe as I like to spice up everything. Next I added about 2 cups of water. I used a cup of semolina for which I added 2 cups of water. I like my upma to be fluffy and not sticky. But if you would like a mushy more softer and sticky texture then please add about 2.5 cups to about 3 cups of water. Not more than that. Once the water comes up to a boil, add about a teaspoon of sugar, which is again optional. But I like adding it. Now lower the heat to low and start adding the semolina a little at a time. Stir with each addition to prevent it from getting lumps. It is like add a bit of suji, mix immediately, again add a bit and stir. After adding the last bit, cover on low heat for 2 minutes. If you added more water, add an extra minute to it. After 2 minutes, lid off and then add a teaspoon of ghee. Again, ghee is totally optional and it will still be delicious without it. Add a dash of lemon juice along with a tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves and you are done. You can even make this the day before. Keep it in the refrigerator and enjoy it the next day by just heating up in the microwave. You can even pack this for your lunchbox. It is very very delicious, nutritious and healthy and so much better if you want a change from your regular breakfast of which you've probably got tired and utterly bored. Please click that like button for me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.